Hello everyone, uh, this is the game Reginald does his thang and I will move to the game uh, because this is quite problematic to record because of the lack of uh, sound setting uh, so the game is called Reginald does his thang this is the beginning and the key for the game was provided by developer let me just go to the game itself to this intro and sorry for the sound because it's gonna be annoying. Uh, I cannot set it in any way. I can just switch off music. That's all I can do. And I cannot set resolution. It can be done uh, window mode, but uh, you can't set the size of the window. So that's a problem in recording. Also, it crashed some somewhat weirdly when I was trying to record it. Uh, okay, okay. I have to find the pages of the whole game, generally speaking. I would say positive things in a moment. Just let me try to get to the game okay so first of all the sound will be annoying because I cannot set it in any way uh, maybe we can try to go settings here yes you can just as you can see uh, only music on and off and I could switch off full screen but it doesn't help with settings there are no settings aside from that and it's too loud and I can't do anything about it uh, the game is generally speaking a um, jump uh, and run platformer but it has quite a lot of um, things to it. Uh, it has items. It has even maybe even farming. It's a little bit like roguelike because you have 15 lives. I don't know what happens if you lose them all. I know you can buy additional ones. Probably you can farm a level. Maybe if you, if you can farm a level and get more. If you die, I died like twice and I bought one back, so we can regain them sort of. There are at least two shops in the game and multiple levels. And the character can also puke and uh, I think yeah he can cut he can cut puke and jump so not just run and jump uh, but also uh, puke eat and uh, probably shoot guns because there are also guns mm, so let's just go to first level I'm gonna show first level if I can now it says loading when you move to another area which is weird when you can uh, loading also it's loud Sorry for being loud, and I won't be able to talk much. Yeah, because that's why uh, all the annoying sounds I can't do anything. But you can jump on a bunny for whatever reason. That's your thing. If that's your thang, you can do it. You can also cut it and see. You can take uh, money. You can eat it, and then you can puke its entrails on the stuff. So it's a weird game in that case. It's not like um, the usual jump and run game for kids uh, with you know puking and cutting bunnies necessarily. Uh, here you can buy some stuff like you can heal, you can uh, get this uh, one more life, random item, I don't know what it is, and page is 10,000. You need to find like uh, many pages and once you find them you can uh, unlock other stuff. Like, for instance there is a uh, yeah, we can even dodge with shift. There is this uh, bridge on the right. This is the gun shop. And see, you can do this if you have like 10 uh, pages to talk to the guy. I can cut one more bunny. Again, it's loud. 75. So maybe you can maybe you can sort of uh, farm them, or maybe just just one time. I don't know. See, there are guns. Uh, it costs quite a lot. You can cut those mannequins, eat them, and then you have the puke uh, meter full, which can be also used to uh, go onto spikes. You puke on the spikes and then you can stand on them, which is weird, but you know, there's a couple of interesting mechanics in the game, I must say. Uh, this is one of those games that are hard to review for me because this is not the gen I play. I generally hate. Uh, jumping in games, unless it's like Tomb Raider, maybe. I don't even like Tom Tomb Raider that much. And, well, what other games? Maybe Sword and Sanctuary. Uh, even in Hollow Knight, I didn't like the jumping parts, the, the puzzles with, you know, chainsaws. Uh, I like the game, I like the combat and everything, and doing stuff, but uh, just, uh, just just as I like it here, I like the items, I like the customization, I like that you can farm gold and get stuff. But I don't like jumping, which I usually fail at. 
and also it is pixelated so it's not, again not something I love absolutely but it does have interesting mechanics it's more than what it seems to be at first glance it's like um, it's like a jumping platformer with stuff which is more to it which is positive I have to give it positive review I'm telling it now because um, it has more than just nothing you know it, it's bigger game than just poor game with not much stuff there actually stuff in it it's slightly more than of course you jump around and collect stuff but there is slightly more than this yeah, I don't know why it's the same place why it's dead see this guy okay I'm should I risk I kinda risked okay I have to kill this guy get all the gold it's a lot of gold actually thousand now we have to puke on this with F F this jump there jump jump kill somehow kill 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 and that's the page so this is the first page and this is the end I guess and I know what's on the right I guess not nothing that's the level so that's the first level of the game uh, I'm not gonna do more because uh, I don't want to spoil too much uh, you can do the talking to NPCs. Maybe I'll show you one more thing. Uh, where is it? No, I, I did. I did show you. You can kill the pig. That's what I wanted to show you. Uh, it had gold in it. Yeah, see? This is, again, the bunny. So, I guess you can farm. I guess you can farm like this. Uh, not sure how you save, to be honest. Maybe you just exit or something. I think you just exit. So, you could farm, I guess. I don't know if you just go out and in. Let's, uh, let's check it. You can just regain health in case you die. Oh, see the pig is there. Cut, cut, cut. Money. Yeah, you can farm money. That's nice. See, again bunny. Bunny, bunny, bunny. Farm, farm, farm. Okay, so we have uh, endless gold. That's nice. The game is running correctly. Uh, it's a jumping platformer. Uh, I don't like the lack of settings and the weird window mode without resolution. And it needs a uh, sound setting because it's annoying to annoying to record and annoying to play. I like when I can set sounds as I want to. Uh, I usually switch off music. In most games they play because it annoys me after a while. The last game that I actually had music in it was Nioh. I had it for like 300 hours, and I eventually switched off as well. Uh, so I would like an option to switch off sounds or at least make them more silent if I'm talking or doing something else or just don't want it to be just this like you know this is okay but some some sounds are way too loud and the explosion see a I don't like this uh, so you know I would like to have a choice as a gamer uh, the game is more than what meets the eye if that's the right thing Probably not. I probably butchered it, like this bunny. Uh, but uh, yes, positive review, seven out of ten. It's more than just a platformer, which is something I absolutely like about games. When they have complexity, when they have stuff to it, when somebody put heart in it, you know, there is items, there is uh, NPCs, uh, maybe even side quests, some secrets, probably a lot of levels. I have no bloody idea what is the next one. By the way, let's check if there's another level somewhere. There is a level. Yeah, there is a level. Oh, this mm -hmm. is level two? Yes, this is level two. And mm -hmm. we can kill the piggy. Jumps and ladders. Yeah, it's like snakes and ladders. Let's kill the piggy. And what what's this? Yeah, so there's many levels, hopefully. And the game should last for a while. If you like those games, uh, it reminds me of uh, an old game that I played. I forgot the name, but it was on Commodore. Yeah, I think it was on Commodore. So... There were games like that for years, for like 20 years or more, and this is a good uh, example of the genre. Even though I don't like the genre, just as I said with the Majotori game, uh, this is Need for Speed of the platformer games. This is actually the one game, uh, or one of few games within the genre that I don't like, that I would actually maybe play, and that I can just not complain, but say, okay, this is good game in its own niche. Not for me, because I don't play those games, I don't like them, but uh, people who like them will like it, because this has a lot of stuff, a lot of content, it's well done, it has interesting mechanics, and uh, 
yeah, it's it's quite a lot for your money. You don't just get some guy that jumps, you finish level in one minute, and that's just that. You know, something runs and jumps, and that's it. Poor graphics, nothing else. This has more. So a uh, big plus for quantity. Quality is passable. You know, pixelated pixelated graphics, not what I like, but they're kind of cute in some way. Not not appalling. Like it more always happens, almost always. I'm tired with all the pixel art, but this this time I can give it a pass. Like okay, it works. It's quite. Um, you see what you're doing at least. Uh, it's not very bad. So the graphics can be okay. Sound is bad because you cannot set it. You know, I mean, even this noise in the background is annoying me. Like now, can I move away? No. It just goes in a loop probably and gets in the way basically. I would like to set it, you know, different background noise, uh, different setting, um, sounds of cutting, slashing, and puking, another setting, music, another setting, not just on and off. This should be added, and of course, all the resolutions because people want to play in window mode while doing something else or just record and see with recording. I don't even know if it's recording right now, hopefully, it is. Uh, so, guys, that will be it for the review. Uh, a positive one this time, and I will see you guys in the next one. If this one recorded, I hope it did, and I can publish it.